Hello, in this problem we're going to find the limit as x approaches 0 of the sine of x divided by the cube root of x. So this almost looks like a familiar formula. So recall if you have the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x, we know that this limit is equal to 1. This is a super powerful formula that we can use. So here there's an x and here there is a cube root of x. So it would be really nice if we had an x here. So what we can do is we can make it become an x. And um, to do that, basically, we need to make it an x. So what we'll do is, well, let me show it a different way. I was going to multiply by a root, but let's rewrite it first. So we have the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x. And maybe it's easier to understand if I write it like this. This is really a one here, and so this is really x to the one over three. And so now to make this an x, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by x to the two thirds. And the reason is when you multiply x to the one third by x to the two thirds, you end up adding the exponents. And so you get one third plus two thirds, so that's going to be 3 thirds, which, which is 1, x to the 1, which is x. So that's the idea. And then you can't just put that here. You have to put it here too. So essentially, we're multiplying by 1. So we're really doing nothing. <laughs> so, uh, But we are. We are. We're making some changes in the algebraic expression. So this is the limit as x approaches 0. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in the front. This is x to the two-thirds times, and then this times this is going to be x. So let's write it like this, sine x over x. Okay, so times. So it's this times this. So basically, these two here became your x. I put the sine x here, and I put this in the front. So now, now we can take the limit. So this is actually, if you wanted to show all of the work, which a lot of people don't do, I usually don't do this, Basically, you could write it like this times, and you can do this as long as both of these exist, and then times sine x over x. If you really want to show every step, you can actually do this. And so this first limit's really easy. You plug in zero, you get zero. And this one here is that special formula, so it's equal to one. So you just end up with zero as the final answer. Kind of a, a cool problem. And eventually, when you see a problem like this, um, you say, hey, there's this formula. I want to use it. How can I use it? And then that's why you make these steps. Hopefully, this video has been helpful in some way. Good luck.